Hi, this is Rami with Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you how to operate the vehicle information system on your 2014 Chevrolet Equinox. Um, what the vehicle information system is, is actually your own little computer monitoring system to the vehicle. Um, has a couple of different options that comes in. One very handy that I'm about to show you right now. Um, right on your front dash, if you look, you will see a menu, an up arrow button, down arrow button and a setting clear and we're going to talk about these individual buttons one by one. Um, the menu button, there's two different menus for your driver uh, um, vehicle uh, information package that you get with your 2014 Chevrolet Equinox. There's two different options as you see. There's a trip option, okay, and there's an option right here too. The trip menu is going to help you select one of the options. You could actually go right to the trip. You have a trip one and you actually have a trip two as well. And it actually allows you to monitor your trip, see how many miles and actually how many miles per gallon it took you to get to that trip. And as you see right here, trip one is cleared. Trip two has 11.3 miles. Set and clear. If you keep your finger here, one, two, three, it would actually clear it for you. So you could start at zero miles. Um, if you use the uh, down arrow and go down again and give you a fuel range, we have 54 miles left. So we actually need gas very soon. If you hit it again, average fuel economy. Okay. And this is a really, really nice screen right here. Cause what it does, it actually gives you the average and it actually scores you as well to tell you what your best score is and how much miles per gallon that you could actually get for the vehicle. Okay. And um, average vehicle speed. And you get a timer. So you could actually time your trip. So if you're going on a trip, not only you could get the exact miles per gallon and how many miles it took you, you could actually time the trip and see how long it took you to actually get to your destination. Um, navigation, you will get navigation from OnStar. If you don't have the LTZ, which has the navigation. OnStar always gives you turn by turn, navig turn, uh, by turn navigation. It's actually standard um, with our premium uh, OnStar subscription. Um, we're gonna go through the option button, which immediately shows you the tire pressure, which is really nice. You actually get the tire pressure of each and every tire showing right over here on your dash. What's really nice about it too is one of, if one of your tires is low, you do have sensors on your tires obviously. So it shows you which tire is low and how low the tire is. So you could bring it to the nearest GM dealer and um, have them get your tires uh, filled with air for you. Um, remaining life of the oil, very, very nice option. GM recommends oil change under 20%. So anytime you're under 20%, um, you are recommended to do the oil change. And so it's really nice to actually have that option and be able to view the remaining life of the oil for you. Um, you really don't have to go by the miles. You really don't have to go by the sticker. This is a good way to go by it, you know? Anytime it's below 100%, uh, below 20%, you're actually due for an oil change. 100%, you obviously just got a fresh oil change. Set and clear. Shows you that the set and clear button is right over here. Okay, so two different menus, trip and option, two different controllers for it. Set and clear, we'll set and clear your timer and we'll set and clear your trip. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come see us at Philip Chevrolet.